guys. <laughs> I have no restraint. I'm leaving Goodwill right now. Can you see? I have bags of things. Bags on top of bags of things. Cold day here in Florida. So obviously I am home now. And you guys won't know this because I've only said it on my other channel. But I told myself repeatedly that I'm done spending money for the rest of the year. And I'm not sticking to it very well. This is my third time in two weeks going to the thrift store. And I've bought a bunch of plants as well. So, not doing, not doing so well. But it is a thrift store. I'm not buying anything brand new except for the plants. Um, and I needed some of this stuff for my plants, but also some of it is for the house that I still don't have. But I talked to a couple people and they all agreed with me that it's a good idea to go ahead and start buying the stuff now so that I have it when I do get a house. And don't we always just love talking to people who agree with us? I probably need somebody to tell me not to be doing it. Okay, but anyway, I wanted to share with you guys what I thrifted today from Goodwill. Some of the stuff was even more discounted because they had a 40% off their white tag sale this week. I didn't do too bad. Still made me a little nauseous. Let's get started, shall we? So I got, I wasn't expecting to get anything like for myself, really. I was just, like I said, looking for stuff for my plants and I happened to find some things for the house. <laughs> anyway, I'm just talking in circles. So I did get a another pair of boots and they're very warm, which is great because here in Florida, the next three days, our high is only gonna be in the 40s, our lows in the 20s with wind chills of the teens, which is highly unusual for our area. And I love my leather boots. They're great for most, most occasions, but my feet do get cold in them um, and I do have a hole in the side of it, so that's making it even worse. So these are nice and cozy little boots. I don't know what brand they are. Cliffs White Mountain. I paid $4.99 for them. Um, and yeah, tried them on. They look cute on me, so that's cool. I also got another pair of shoes. These are not for me. These are going to be for resale. I had to look up the brand. The wasp are moving. There's a wasp nest somewhere in here. And I, I talked about this on my other channel too, but wasp can't fly once the temperature drops to a certain degree. I don't know. As soon as it warms up though, they start flying around. So I don't mind when they're in here when they can only walk around and I can see them. But yes, anyway, okay. These, I don't know, they just looked nice and they feel comfortable. So I got these for $4.99 also. They're six and a half, not my size, not my style, but I thought maybe I could sell them. They are by a brand called Gianni Bernini. They sell for new at a decent price. And I'm hoping if I can sell them that it'll make up for some of the money I spent today. <laughs> I saw prices between 80 and 100 and something dollars on these kinds of shoes. So... I'll probably list them for around 40 and see what I can get for them because everything I spent today was like $43. We'll see. If not, I don't know anybody with a foot this small, but if I can't sell them, then I will gift them to the church or something and maybe they know someone who could benefit from them. So that is the only two clothing items that I thrifted today. The rest is all basically housewares. A lot of it is glass, some of it's stoneware, which I'm really excited about. I've been on the lookout for stoneware and I almost left and I kept staying. Like I kept telling myself, you need to leave. You need to get out of here. You don't need to be spending this money. And I stayed until they brought out a new cart. And one of the first things I saw was a piece of stoneware. So I was really excited about that. So I went in there with one goal in mind and that was to buy, what do you call it? drain pans catch things I have little plastic things I can't think of what they're called right now pot liners no that's not right that you put under your plant so that when you water them in place you don't get water everywhere but 
when I reorganized everything, a lot of those went into a bin that I can't get to anymore because of the way I rearranged things. And then some of them also ended up breaking, you know, they're cheap little plastic things. I recently saw a video by Harley G where she was talking about thrifting things for her plants as well. And she had a great idea. And I'm like, why didn't I ever think about this? Uh, she talked about getting glass instead of plastic. I was looking for things like that. So I think these are technically for candles, but it's a matching set. They were taped together like this, so it almost looked like a little candy bowl. But they can go under my little pot so that I can water everybody in place and I won't make a mess, like I said. If I keep repeating myself, I'm sorry. So I'd have to check my receipt. I have no idea. A lot of the glass stuff was around $1.99, but some of them didn't have tags on them. The thing I didn't like about Goodwill is you could clearly see that there were sets of things and instead of, like some of the stuff they did put together and price it as one, but there were a lot of these glass pieces that they broke the set up and they were charging two to five dollars for each piece, which I think is ridiculous, but I can't argue with them. So I got two for my smaller pots there. So this was a stack of bigger size glass pieces. There are four, no, five in here um, for my bigger size pots. And I paid $4.99 for these. So five bucks for five pieces. I essentially paid a dollar for each of these. And like I said, they'll fit under my bigger size pots, which are all over the place. So there's that. I hope these will work because they were taped together. I couldn't really like get a feel for whether the insides were rounded or flat and the depth and all that stuff. But I took a chance because it had a white tag. They were priced at $3.99, 40% off of that. I think made them like $2.40 or something like that for four pieces. So I paid I know less than a dollar each for them. I guess about 50, 60, 70 cents or something like that. This is what I mean. Like all of these are matching and they had them taped together with one price. But a lot of the stuff that I was looking at that I would have liked to have gotten was separated out with all their own price tags on it. And I'm not, not about to spend that much at a thrift store. Well, I think these will work, but again, they're going to have to be on the small small pots they're more like bowls instead of plates but they're I mean they're cute so four of those I think most of the plants I have right now are in the smaller like four inch pots so a lot of a lot of them should fit in sizes like this Back for trash here all right this one did not have a price on it I'm assuming she gave it to me for a dollar 99 it's just slightly bigger. Ooh, that looks kind of cool on camera. Um, kind of a bowl, but it's flat on the bottom, so I know that my pot will sit nicely in here. I think I already see a pot that will fit in here. So, yeah, just another another glass bowl. I was trying to make a joke about how I got free and free newspaper to read along with all this, but my camera phone ran out of battery storage all right so another I got this really big one for I've got some really big pots which now that I'm looking at it the top is really big and the bottom isn't as big as I thought so I probably could have got a smaller size however it was only a dollar 40 percent off so I paid I don't know I don't know I can't math in my head but it's a Pyrex um, pie pan, which I guess could double as a casserole dish, but I'm, I think when they have the wavy edges, it's a pie pan. I don't know, but yeah, like I said, dollar ninety nine, forty percent off. This will be for my big guys. Maybe my peace lily. He's got a pretty big um, pot underneath him, so that is what that will probably be for. I think that's all the glass pieces. Sorry, I got something in my eye. If not, we'll see in a moment. No. Ha okay. That's just, I'm staring at a glass piece. Glass saucer. That's the last 
glass saucer, I think. This is also glass, and I did pay $5 for this, but I just thought it was so cool. It's totally glass, completely sealed. It's a drink dispenser. It's got cool writing on it. Where did it come from? Let's see. Imported by Circle Glass, New York. I don't know. It says Yorkshire Glassware established 1898. I know it's not an antique piece. It's got a barcode on it. But I was thinking about creating a terrarium in this. What do you think? I think it would look pretty cool. If nothing else, I'll probably will put some cuttings in here. And then when we have a house, I'll clean and sanitize it. And we'll use it for actual beverages. But I thought it was really cool. And it's a good size. I mean, look at it. I just love glass, especially glass jars, especially glass jars that have any kind of embellishment, not embellishments, writing in the glass. Am I making any sense in this video? These two, I wonder if she rang up together or separately. First I saw this one and I just, I thought it was really cute, but I wasn't gonna get it until I found the other one. It looks like a, like a little strawberry basket, you know? Like, do they still keep strawberries and berries in baskets like this? They used to when I was growing up. Plastic, but this is ceramic and it, will be for the house someday. And then I found another one in this really pretty kind of aqua color. So I decided to go ahead and get them both. And I think maybe she only charged me for the one because they were together like this, but they both had their own price tag. But either way, I paid $1.99 each or $1.99 for both, I'm not sure. But they're both this ceramic, they're both cute and hopefully they will have a place. I could set a plant in those. It's just the water will drain out of here. So I can't really use it in the same way that I can use the glass saucers. This is what I'm so glad I waited for. This is what I was about to walk out and leave behind. And this is awesome. It's a muffin dish. But... It is stoneware. Like I said in the last video, I've been on the lookout for stoneware. Not only is it stoneware, it is stoneware by the Pampered Chef, which I've heard really, really, really good things about. So made in the USA, Classics Collection, it says Family Heritage Stoneware Classics Collection. It's got a little number on it and everything. Um, see that there? And it's very heavy. And I'm excited. I love to make cornbread, and I know you don't usually make cornbread muffins, but I don't see why you couldn't. I can still smell whoever owned it before me. I paid $4.99 for this, and I'm super excited. Can you hear that? And then I found some more stoneware. Well, two of them are, no, they're all stoneware. They're just by two different brands. And I had a lovely conversation with a lady that was picking through the same bin as I was, and we were talking about how we both needed to get out of the store and we've been telling ourselves that for at least 10 minutes. Mine was more like 45. Um, and how we keep just picking stuff up and you know, I told her I shouldn't be in there. I don't even have a house to be buying this stuff for. And she's like, but you're getting prepared and that's good. And I was like, that's the second time I've heard that today. So we're going to go with it. <laughs> so these, I've got four pieces. They're by two different brands or companies. I don't exactly know how to use them. Hmm, I think they're for baking in, maybe cookies, maybe they're decorative. It looks like you can hang them. I'm not sure. But these two I paid $1.99 each for and these are also by the Pampered Chef. So if anybody knows exactly how to use these if you're supposed to use them or if they're just decorative but one looks older than the other yes okay so this one here get my dirty fingernails out of the way it says gardens of the heart the pampered chef ltd 1996 usa and then this one says the pampered chef no ltd 
Bountiful Heart 2004 USA Family Heritage Stoneware. And I really like this one. I think that's really cute. You see the stamping and everything's different. And then these two are by the Brown Bag, Brown Bag Cookie Art. Maybe somebody made these. I should look this up. Copyright 1989 Hill Design. I think this one is pretty too. That looks like it was drawn in there. So I wonder if someone made this. And this one is my least favorite, but maybe somebody else will like this. It says Brown Bag Cookie Art 1985. So this is a little older than the other one. And it's like the wedding kind of, you know, with the, you know, old style kind of wedding art is what it seems like to me. But anyway, am I out of recording space again already? Oh, and then at the register, there was one more thing I saw and I wanted. I've had a recent obsession with pumpkins. And so this was sitting near the register behind the glass. And I said, I'll take that too. And $1.99 white tag. So I got it for 40% off. And it's just a decorative piece. I don't, I guess that's what it was originally for. And that's all it's going to be for me as well. <laughs> okay, my camera keeps shutting off, so I'm going to go ahead. I think I showed you everything. Yes. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here before it cuts me off again and say thank you for hanging out with me today, you guys. Now I've got to get to work. A lot of my plants need watering, and it's going to freeze, absolute freeze here tonight. So I need to make sure that everybody's going to be okay. Thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my haul, and I will see you again in the next one. Bye.